Hi everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. Today it's time to talk about the United States and China relations. So I want to take a look at this and I'm going to shuffle up the cards and we'll be right back and get started. So between the two nations, the United States and China, we have this conflict card. Now, the reason I want to talk about this before I get into the cards is that China has been in the news a lot, the United States, and it seems as though there's a little bit of some tension brewing between the two nations and a lot of kind of back and forth. There's been some rumblings that we're kind of hearing in the news, um, some speculation about China originating the virus, and there's just a lot that seems to be brewing underneath. So is this going to escalate? Are we going to see any kind of tension? Anything that's going to come of this? So with this conflict card coming out first, what I see with this card is you can kind of see in the background there's a shark that is swimming around. So when I look at this card, I'm drawn to, of course, the five swords and the idea being a blockade, okay? They're kind of blocking that shark back there. And it feels like the United States, perhaps, putting up these blockades or these boundaries and China being in the back there is like looking for a way around it or not too happy about it. And it, it's got a kind of a passive aggressive feel to it. Like this whole tension thing feels kind of passive aggressive. Now, when I focused in on this card a little more, we see the beams of light coming in from the top of the card. And it felt like, and it's kind of shining on the shark. And I thought, I wonder if this is like these blockades is kind of hemming in the shark in the imagery here. But the light coming in is kind of shining the light on the shark it feels like kind of a little bit of exposure light coming in and i think it's making the shark uncomfortable at least that's the feeling it, it it's like i'm being exposed and i don't like this i want to find a way around it second card out is in the position of the present we have this card is the eight of wands and then you see the keyword down there is travel now it's interesting because travel was kind of highlighted with China over the last couple months. Trump, President Trump put that travel ban and restricted travel from China. I get a sense of repositioning. I feel like China wants to move these, these boundaries back to this again, but move some of these things around a little bit. Move some of the pieces around so that it can kind of come around um, out of the shadows a little bit, out of this blockade that it's felt like it's been in. And I just, I just feel like an energy of wanting to move, reposition itself. The hidden influences regarding the U.S. and China relations, we have this card. Now you see the keyword down there is gossip. This is like saying one thing nice, and then doing something different behind someone's back. That's what gossip is, right? So there's something about having to watch that, to be careful of that kind of deceptive kind of feel with it. I feel like China is wanting to get the upper hand. That's that movement card prior, like wanting to reposition itself, reposition the pieces, kind of have things on their terms a little more. Um, and this is a willingness to kind of do that by any means necessary. And so that's why things aren't quite what they seem. Now I've got this knight. Knights are messengers. And this is proposals. You see that keyword down there. So the knight of cups as a proposal, as an obstacle, there's not a camaraderie to want to come together and talk things out it's like it feels that that communication line has broken down it feels like there's some wanting to go one way and some wanting to go another 
when I'm looking at this card, I'm feeling like there's there's this attitude of we're not even on the same page. I think the United States has got what it has wanted with regard to talks and negotiations. And it's like, and relating these two cards back to each other, it's like this card, as you see this little card here, this little mermaid is sitting there with his big sword, looks kind of timid, holding that big sword. And he's, she's, she or he's facing this one here. And this energy is like all over the place with me. I, it's like we're getting, we've got what we want. And we're just kind of letting things fall where they are around this situation with this card of recognition. As I see this light beams coming down and the turtle, the turtle swimming downward, it's like not wanting the recognition. And it feels like the there's like exposure. And I saw that with the first card, this light coming in on the conflict, but it's like this exposure coming in that's unwanted and trying to divert attention from it's like it doesn't, I'm feeling this for China, like they don't want the recognition or the attention drawn to them um, regarding certain things. They, it's like we're trying to, you know, lay low a little bit and uh, stay under the radar. What should be done, and we've got this card of reflection, and I'm thinking like pause and reflect. Don't poke the bear but reflect and take time to kind of assess things. Okay, this outcome card has me really intrigued. We've got this page. Now, keyword is creativity. And generally speaking, this is a card of creative energy. But when I look at this card, I'm getting a really strange message with it. When I look at this mermaid, I see this is China. This is represented by China. Now, she represents China. Now, I see, what I sense with this is there is something coming in like like a divine something. I don't know what to call it, but I see China in like suspended animation. Like they're literally, like see those, those light beams coming in and it's like we're holding you in check. And it's like, and I feel like China is like, it doesn't, do doesn't like fight doesn't go anywhere it's like it's we're just suspended and it feels like this little this little seahorse is like i get really really good energy with this little guy and he's like holding this mermaid in check and I, that mermaid is just like hanging in limbo we can't, we're not going this way, we're not going that way, we're just kind of here. <laughs> it's just the strangest sense I get with it. Generally, that card of creative energy, it's like, oh, good, you know, moving forward, great. But this is like, there's energy, but it's in suspended animation. It's, it's really strange. We have the king of wands underneath. Another sim they're kind of similar looking cards, but this kingly figure, practicality, is underneath. So there's some type of kingly, masterly energy underneath all of these relations that is basically this proposal card at the top of the spread. It's like this is things are right where they need to be. Even though there's been conflict in the past, there's been kind of a repositioning or wanting to reposition. But this card, 
when I connect with this card, it's like he's he's got his cup facing up. He's facing toward the light beams coming in. And it's like we're right where we need to be. And this card is like I can't go anywhere. I this is like suspended animation. I think China is just going to be in limbo for a while. And I think that Donald Trump kind of perhaps maybe being represented by the king. I don't know. But it feels like that this is right where things need to be. Even though it's kind of put China in an uncomfortable position with that light coming in, that exposure that they don't want and trying to kind of duck and get away from, but then being like, what happened? Well, you know, we're here, we can't, we're, we're just here. We're just in limbo. And that's really strange because, oh, you know, China's been a very powerful um, force and they've, you know, they've kind of come to the world stage and it's like, this is like having that just like, I can't, I, I'm not sure what to make of it. I'm not really sure what to make of it. It's more of a, just a strange feeling I get. I guess we'll have to maybe revisit this later on and kind of see where things have gone with the negotiations with, but I, I don't see any, I don't see any like bad conflict arising. You know, I think I've, I've been reading that in the news. That's what kind of made me want to do this reading kind of feeling like, well, China's going to, you know, they're just, they're, things are going to get really ugly between the United States and China. And I feel like it's kind of going to be like, it might look that way and then nothing happened. I don't know. Well, we'll have to see how this plays out. And I, I don't want to guess, but this, this, this reading is like, it doesn't feel as bad as it looks. So, okay, for what it's worth, I thought I was going to get in here and see these cards that are like, oh my gosh, we've got conflict, which we did. But I thought it would be like through the whole reading, like China's going to do this and we're going to be, you know, the United States is going to be dragged into something and we're going to have to go, you know. That's kind of where I thought this was going to go. And it's like, at the end, it's like, no, it's, it's not, it's not gonna be ugly like it looks I guess that's good news just not what I expected <laughs> okay I guess I like being surprised sometimes okay that's it <laughs> it's all for this reading we'll catch you next time bye for now mm -hmm.